I just got the news that Prince Philip has died. Ah, I am very sad about it. I very much admired him. It was because of one particular story that I realised what a, a great person he was. And that was, he was the son of a not very nice man and a princess of Greece. And she was considered to be mad. I think basically she was just a very good person in a mad world. But uh, she was, in those days, you know, they would put unusual women into lunatic asylums almost at the drop of a hat. So uh, this, this was not an, an unusual situation where they confined the, uh, his mother and he didn't know what happened to her. And the father took charge and put him, and this is where the story starts, put him in a boarding school in Germany. It was a Nazi school for uh, aristocrats and Nazi sympathising aristocrats. And it was run by Nazis and his father was a Nazi. Though he was surrounded by people of that mind, he was about 13 years old. And when they were parading and doing Nazi salutes and coming up with all their Nazi philosophy, he laughed. He kept laughing at them. He laughed so much that they booted him out in the end. They couldn't take that sort of mockery. And his father had to put him into a, a school in England as well, uh, in Scotland, actually. In uh, I think he went straight to Gordonstoun, which is a rather Spartan uh, type of education establishment. So it fitted the father's Nazi ideas, but it didn't have the Nazi philosophy. And uh, Prince Philip got on well there. He enjoyed it. He enjoyed it so much he sent Charles there, which uh, Charles did not like. But, um, you know, I think he thought he was doing the best for his son because he benefited so much from it. Uh, the point is that a 13-year-old boy would tend to go with the other 13-year-old boys, would tend not to row at them, would tend to think that if everybody else thinks this new Nazi ideology is good, then it must be good and there must be something wrong with me. No, he, he, he laughed at them. He said they were ridiculous. He said they were wrong and he was only 13 years old and quite on his own. Basically an orphan, his father buggered off to, I don't know what, some warm, warm island somewhere, Malta or, I don't know quite where he went, but he spent his life living as a sort of poverty, escaping layabout in warm climes. And, and this boy was on his own and there he was laughing at the Nazis by whom he was surrounded. And I thought that was amazing. I'm not sure at his age I would have been like that. So I am, I'm very sad that he's died. I'm very sad that such a great man has died. I'm sad for the Queen, of course. They haven't been living that close together for a while because he's been ill for a while. But even so, I'm sure she misses his good sense and his complete lack of political correctness. He'd come out with some absolutely astonishing direct quotes, which the newspapers uh, couldn't make fun of or uh, uh, clutch their pearls about too much because he was Prince Philip. Now he's gone. I don't know who's going to be saying those things that can be said but are not said. So well, there's another reason to regret his passing. Yeah, I think he was a good man and he had a sense of fun and I'm quite sure that he must be considering the humour now of his funeral because Harry will have to turn up for that, won't he? <laughs>